Hey guys, RC here, back with episode four, Sim Airport and a noob takes off. So, haven't changed much to the airport. Uh, we've got both runways. I've added one more late flight because we got a couple more that came available. I uh, have added that fourth ticketing desk back in. And last episode, we had added the third security station for this gate. So, this gate is, for the most part, maxed out. What we could do, you know, I know everybody likes, you know, everything to be in order and in line and balanced. I don't lose sleep over that. But in this game, we could put a baggage uh, here and here and one up here and one down this hall, and they'll all work. Customers will, passengers will walk through to get to it and do what needs to be done. So the other thing we could do is we could extend this wall and extend this out and have them swing around this way and reorganize these things if we need to. We could shrink this hallway down to one or two wide. Um, I could shrink the maintenance room down to the five by five and extend this out. You know, there's all kind of things we can do here. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at a couple of things. We are having a few issues. You can see, um, well, day six, we actually got the perfect bonus. I guess that's Pat. You must get this. For passengers and bags because we actually had two flights yesterday that were delayed they got out they had all the passengers all the bags but this one was supposed to leave at 720 didn't get out till 730 came in right on time this one got in 21 minutes late and then departed 16 minutes late so not sure what the reason for that delay was I have a feeling it was probably because this one got delayed departing. In fact, I know that's what it was. So I've extended those times out in the slot down here. I've given each one of them 10 extra minutes. Uh, and then we've added in one more flight later in the day. So we're maxed out at capacity as far as what our gates can handle. We could maybe squeeze a little bit, but... From what our ticketing, security, and gates are able to handle right now, I think we're maxed out. Now, here's a little tip for you. I went in. Let's take a look here. We paid off that loan that we had. Now, I had to wait three days, which it's done, and we picked up $125,000. I opened the next one. You had to pay off any loan. So I went in. I took out the smallest loan possible. And then once I got it, I immediately paid it back, and it gave me credit for it. So now we have to wait seven days for that, <laughs> and then we'll do the next one, same thing. We'll just take out a base loan, a minimum loan, pay it off, and uh, we don't have to worry about that for quite a while. And you can see we get that one, 750000 up to $2.5 So that's for, uh, that's for investments. All right, I do need, we paid off the bank loan. I need to hire a finance VP. So let's come down here and let's build our foundation. And we want to go one, two, three. You know what? I'm going to make this a four. Let's do that. Well, let me think about that. One, two, three, wall, one, two, three three one two three wall one two three wall yeah so we're gonna go ahead and extend that out to there that's fine planning we'll clear that one we'll let them work on that we'll get some more offices built and we'll come back and revisit that in a little while i added a couple more seats down here uh, the vending machines, I mean, 2200 just for that machine, 3000 for that food, 1800 3000 So you can see these vending machines bring in a pretty good amount of money. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is probably build a place to eat. 
I can see a hall coming down here, possibly where this drink machine ends. We can open that up, maybe one or two wide, have a hall, and then build, start building some things out here. And I think what we can do is build a food court, you know, food building here, maybe a store, and then have a hall coming up the middle, and maybe we could do another gate out there. Just out of curiosity, are we going to be able to add another gate at this area? Well, we'd have to build it there, because if we go there, that's even. Hmm. Can I... Okay, I can go out there. Let's cancel that. How high up can we go? Just that one, literally that one level. And the gate, that would be fine. That would actually work. And what that, so the gate would go here. I'm going to delete that in a second. And we would build this foundation out like that. And we would probably do this whole area here but then what we would do is we would have a gate a hallway here and then a hallway up here and then we would make like a small gate area maybe that deep from here very similar to this we would just extend it and i don't know that we would open it i don't think we would open that but we would have this gate here maybe if i did planning that would help you guys see better Gee whiz. All right, so a gate, a gate there. But then this would all come down to here. And we would build a wall, say, there. A hallway here. Like that. And then we could put maybe a cafe with a bathroom. And then a kitchen with another bathroom or a bathroom with the kitchen behind it. Something like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Kind of what I'm thinking. And that we want to cancel. And that we want to cancel too. Because I don't want to spend that money. <laughs> Hopefully I got my money back for that. We'll see. All right. Speed it up. It is 9 o'clock at night. How is our garbage situation? We don't have any loose garbage sitting in there, so that's good. They're almost done with this first part. Can we finish this one first? One thing at a time, boys. All right. All right. I'm going to slow it down so I don't run out of day here. All right. And we'll put our door there. And we'll dismantle that. Oh, you know what? Yeah. I just realized I want to put a wall there. All right, that's fine. And then we'll get this all straightened out as well. All right, almost. All right, let's pause it for a second. Profit and loss. So we lost 25000 today, but remember we did pay back 50000 in... Uh, or 75 that 50,000 in bank loans. So we actually would have made 25,000 today and if we would have cut out any building we would have made over 100,000 today. So we're doing okay. So let's get to the next day and I'll probably need to go a day here to generate more revenue more revenue but I want to get this done. So we'll see what we can do here. Oh, also, hold on. Day seven, $15,000. So we did good. That's awesome. All right, that's done. So let's dismantle all of this wall. And then we'll put in, actually, no. Um, cancel. Dismantle. those and then there and a door
We'll put these all the way at the end. That'll work. All right. So we're going to get, oh, and if you ever want a particular person assigned to an office, only fill in one office at a time and then hire the person you want for that. So like right now, we want a office desk. We're going to put there with an office chair here. And we will zone that as an office. And then what was it we wanted for the finance thing? A finance VP. <coughs> so we'll go ahead and hire him. So this way, if you do want, oh, I need to, I need to research that first and I need $24,000. So that's fine. We'll have to wait for some money. We'll have that today. We should. But if you only do this one office and then you hire that person, he'll take the only office available, right? So that's how if you want somebody to have a bigger office and then hire the person, they'll take it. Now, this is, uh, you know, we're a few episodes in. If you've been watching, thanks a lot. Um, hi, how are you? Yes, I see your face. You've been eating breakfast. So... For those of you that are not aware, if, you, if you're watching this and haven't been watching my Football Manager series or haven't been on the channel for a while, um, this is a part-time job for me. It's actually a hobby, not even a job, because I make no earnings from this, no income. I uh, don't have a Patreon channel. Don't ask you guys for money. Um, I, do it, I do it for fun, but I record in my living room, and most of the time, it's usually quiet. But... I have seven people in my house, including a granddaughter and three kids, 11 cats and two dogs. So every once in a while, you get real life. You get the dog barking, the cats fighting, you'll get a cat on my lap or on the back of my chair, what have you, right? So, you know, you do get real life. All right, there's our VP of finance. We're going to go ahead and research him. And seven and a half hours left. So by the end of the day, we should be able to hire him and then knock out that and then we have to research lower taxes all right i think what i would like to do here is let's go ahead and extend that and then we'll tear down some of these walls we'll extend baggage claim out i'm going to dismantle this for right now i don't know what's taking them so long but it is what it is what is taking so long? All right, they're coming now. All right, there we go. All right, let's dismantle this wall. And then we will dismantle that wall. And then we will extend. We will extend baggage claim through this whole area. So I like that. And then we can even extend it even further out here and down if we need to as we start putting in baggage claims and what have you. All right, we're almost done here. About an hour left. <clears throat> are these doing anything? These are not. You know what? We're going to dismantle these. I'm going to leave the garbage bins because these are making a boat ton, boat ton of money. Metric butt ton. How is our environment? All right, they're not very good up here. So let's slow it down and let's look at decor. We'll put one there, one there, and one there. Some of those we already have out here, right? They'll pick those up down here. And this is also something, if you deconstruct something or dismantle it, It'll come down here, and then you can keep them here to reuse it, or you can sell it and make some money. So, like the ID check stand, the food vending, I'm going to save those. Well, maybe not. Let's just go ahead and make a little bit of money here. There we go. All right. So we're up to 63000 on the day, taking a look at profit and loss. 140,000 coming in, 54,000 profit. So that's that's a good day. So this is what, you know, this is kind of building slowly. Let things progress, build up your money. 
You know, those loans will kill you, I promise. <laughs> all right, so I would like, all right, let me go in. I'm going to keep this on slow, but let me go into planning, right? So we're going to have a gate. This is how many wide? One, two, three, four, five wide. So one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's probably as thin as you want to go to let people in there. All right, we're going to put another. Well, we may not be able to do that then, right? Because we're going to need this hallway. Cafe has to be five by five. All right, so let me let me see what we have to do here. So one, two, three, four, five. That would be our cafe. Kitchen has to be four by four. So if we come down here, that'll be the kitchen. And then, actually, you know what? We could do a five. I want a hallway. So we want a hallway here, right? For sure. All right, that'll be a store. And then that could be our kitchen. And then maybe maybe another store, or maybe we go here, put the cafe all the way down at the end, and then two stores here, and then we could have store entrances both maybe from both sides, maybe, and then we would run this all the way out like that. And this would be our gate area. And then we would have our runway right here. Something like that. Something like that. Now I would also just, we would close this off. Maybe put a bathroom down here at the end of the hall. We could put one here or like a women's and then put a small men's restroom up here. K kitchen, we could have the door here. Something like that. Just something to think about. All right, so security looks like it's keeping up. Ticketing is keeping up. Now, it could be possible adding in this third gate would be overload. but we will figure that out. All right, let's pause it for a second. All right, now we need to hire a finance VP. There he is. All right, so we'll hire him. Boom. All right, and research lower income tax one, which we need $38,000. So the finance VP will come in. He's got his office there. He is Chris, or maybe that's a she, don't know. Now, here's the other thing. I don't know what these guys do. You can assign them to airlines, and I know they can negotiate stuff, but that's all, you know, I, I have no idea. So let's take a look here. They don't have a rep. He's to arrow time. My big guys are unassigned. All right, let's assign him to Starflight. Atlantic International, let's give that to our, the airline will be more willing to move towards your suggested offers. COO helps your, each air facility has a greater positive effect. Um, can change, yeah, we're not gonna, I think I'm not gonna assign those guys. Just, so what, what I do wanna do then is, Let's set two offices, and then we'll do an office there and there, there and there, all right. Ticketing is still going well. 
They're out. How is security? All right, you know what? I do want to add an ID check. Let's go there and hire a security guard. Where are all my office workers? All right, so let's hire let's hire two sales reps. No. Hold on. I've got three, four, five. All right. Yep. So we should be getting the sales reps in now. Yep, they're both in. So let's assign them. Tell you what, we're going to unassign him and then we're going to assign a sales rep. Yeah, just want a sales rep for them. And we have another unassigned rep here. So if you guys know what the best way to utilize these specialty positions are, let me know in the comments. Give me a link to look at or something, a video to watch, whatever. Um, you know, just want to make sure. All right, did we get our ops bonus? We did, so that's still going up. We haven't really added flight, so I don't know if this goes up exponentially each day. Not sure. So we're doing well, though. We're not overburdening our, our infrastructure. So that is good. The other thing we could do down here is maybe, maybe in this room, instead of a bat, you know, instead of a second store, maybe we make that, make this the cafe, store, cafe, and kitchen, make this a vending area. Just put vending machines in there. That's possible. So let's build a foundation there to start, right? And then we let's put a store now. No funds. All right, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And I uh, I need thirty eight thousand to unlock that income tax, which we need to do. And then before we get too much, you know, you got to keep up on this research because one of the things is this uh, multi-lane access. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and do that one. And then upgraded buses gives double-decker buses. So what this is going to do, the one we just re are researching now, it's going to widen this to, I think, a four-lane, I guess. Because if you look at the edge of the map, the road does not cover this, so I think this will extend this out, and then we'll get that second thing with the bu upgraded buses. That gives double-decker buses, so it will carry twice the passengers. So you got to keep up with that as you're adding passengers. So don't skimp on the research and, and expanding out your infrastructure. So this, we were going to do a, let's do a vending setup in here, right? Because those seem to make a lot of money. All right, we're going to go drink, drink, food, 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 electronics, and then an AT, uh, about a couple, an ATM in the middle, and then we'll do a a garbage bin right in the middle, and then we'll dismantle walls on both sides of that. Yep. Now, can I build that and that? Then at least this is closed in, and then I can open that up. I think that's good. So let's see what happens with that, and then we'll call this an episode. We're getting on towards 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night. Ticketing still looks like it's holding up. Security is fine. Gates are doing fine. 
We're 54 minutes away and all we're waiting on is baggage and there they go. Let's take a look at this one while they're building that. All right, we got an hour and a half left at boarding time, so that's good. All right, let's pause, let's slow it down to 1. We're going to dismantle here, here, this and that. Now these Apply all, apply all, Just maximize our profit on these, because obviously they're using them. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, 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 yes. All right, just making sure. All right, and they're waiting to get through there, boy. They're going to town. Okay, the other thing we need to do is clear out our planning for that there we go all right so they can get in here they can get all of this stuff it just gives them more space to spread out that's good this will also be accessible from this gate up here that's great all right well that is midnight here on this day let's check how our flights did we had one flight that got delayed by one minute now, it was supposed to arrive at 2.30, and it did. So not sure what the holdup was there. That was gate A2, Union Air 9637. That's this one. The 50 passenger. Let me back everybody up 10 minutes. And then we can give him... A little more time in that afternoon slot 12 o'clock and did we get our perfect op bonus we did and it went up again so it must not be the fact that they departed late it was but they had all their passengers all their bags and you know there are reasons that you could be delayed that are out of your control remember you've got to upgrade your runway I think we've done everything out here yeah, we've done everything to upgrade. So if the wind or weather gets so bad that the runway has to shut down, there's just nothing you can do about that. So the only other thing you can do is really balance your ticketing, your security, and your gates. And like when we start taking in larger planes uh, on the second level uh, gates with the you know 200 passengers, instead of two gates, we'll have three, things like that. So... What we're going to do coming up, I'm probably going to go ahead and play. In fact, let's let it run. I'll probably play through day 10, try to let that take place. Uh, we'll get the money to lower our income taxes to 30%. I don't know what it is now. I guess it's 35 or 40. But, you know, anything that we can cut saves us money. We've got this, the research on that coming in currently multi-lane access that's coming in in 22 hours so that'll be interesting to see tomorrow on next episode how this looks and really just trying to balance things as we're trying to continue to be profitable and expand at the same time a lot of things we've still got to do uh, a lot of things i have not played around with but that's part of the fun, watching a noob do this, right? So guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and everything else, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.